Inside Report's computer system was hacked last year, leading to a personal data breach affecting some 13,000 people. The Office of the Privacy Commissioner for Personal Data has completed its investigation into the incident. The probe found that Cyberport had not taken sufficient measures to protect personal data against unauthorized access, Memo Singai reports. In August last year, Cyberport was attacked by a hacker group and lost about 400 gigabytes of personal data. The Office of the Privacy Commissioner for Personal Data today announced its investigation findings on the data breach incident. The office said the lost personal data include the bank account and ID card details, which affected 30,362 people. Among them, more than 5,000 were job applicants and former employees of Cyberport. The report said the incident was caused by Cyberport's five deficiencies, such as the hub's failure to implement effective detection measures in its information systems and unnecessary retention of personal data. The office says some personal data has been kept for more than seven years. They only discovered um, the, um, the unnecessary retention of data upon the um, discovery of the um, data breach incident. And so um, they were unable to, um, to provide um, the reason for um, failing to delete the data in question, a contravention of the personal data privacy ordinance. CyberPOC is a well-established organization that holds and processes a substantial amount of personal data of different individuals. Stakeholders and members of the public would reasonably expect CyberPort to allocate sufficient resources to ensure the security of its information systems and also the security of its data. Cyberport said it has established a task force and updated its security information system. A malware expert said the Cyberport data breach incident is a lesson for all companies and institutions. Try to make more commit to, to, to check the systems in, inside the companies. That is the action number one for those companies or for every institution if they handle a lot of personal data. Responsible company, they need to do an ongoing, um, continuous space ongoing and continuous spaces monitoring. Okay and engage security solutions instead of just dependent on a single software. A lawyer said individuals who have suffered because of violations related to the personal data privacy ordinance may be entitled to compensation. The ordinance has a special craft out, uh, has, a, has a special stipulated injury to feelings is also uh, included. Um, certainly the difficulties would then be on how to quantify it and quantify, for example, injuries to feelings. I think uh, we need some sort of expert reports from the uh, psychologists or psychiatrists saying that uh, because of that incidence, the subject has been suffering from certain distress. And that's one way of quantifying. Minus 9, TVB News.